going on? <clears throat> so, you guys have wanted a video on the fleet of trucks for quite a while. Things have settled down a little bit. Um, since I couldn't hire everyone I wanted to hire, things have changed this year. Uh, if you've been watching for a while, we ended last season with a service truck, a small dump, a Cat 259 D3 that had a catastrophic failure within the pump. We had a Volvo 60 excavator and I had a tandem on order that would arrive this spring. Over the winter, I wanted to expand. So I hired two more guys. I bought a Kubota SVL 97 over the winter with a forestry mulcher on it, Fecon. I sold the 259 that we had and ordered a new one because I really, really liked the 259 for grading. I just didn't trust the repair that was made. <clears throat> so added those, bought a mulcher for the Volvo 60, um, tried it out on it, didn't have enough gallons per minute flowing hydraulically out of the auxiliary lines to run the mulcher. So I placed an order for a Kubota 080 because I thought that might be a dedicated mulching machine. Fast forward to the beginning of the season, I just couldn't find help and bought a, well, I shouldn't say I couldn't find help. I found some help, uh, but they didn't last very long. Uh, one guy was no call, no show after a couple weeks. Um, <clears throat> one guy worked for two or three weeks. I had bought him a truck. That was the 2020 Ram half ton long box that I set up. He was an operator. He lasted two weeks, maybe three. Um, didn't want to work for me anymore. So I was stuck with a truck and a bunch of tools. Tried to hire another guy, um, hired a part timer that worked out for a while. But anyway, I just I couldn't grow like I wanted to based on just the amount of help. So I shuffled things around. I ended up selling the Kubota 97 with the mulching head on it. Really didn't take a loss, <clears throat> so that was good. Sold the Volvo when the 080 came in. Now I have the 080 that has a mulcher for it that handles the mulcher a lot better than the Volvo. And I've got the 259 that we still do all of our grading with. And uh, if you saw in one of the episodes a while ago, I bought an old case dozer 1987 i think uh 450c and that's been pretty handy lately actually and for 10 grand i really couldn't beat it uh, i bought it for 10 grand on facebook put a 800 bucks into it for a new seat and uh did some maintenance on it got it back to working really well so you've seen it in one job and uh we've got a couple more lined up for it so i basically have those three machines and I slimmed down on the truck count. I sold the 2020 half ton that I bought, took an $8,200 loss on it, but I just wanted it gone. So sold that privately. I had a 2019 Ram half ton uh, Laramie that I was driving. Personally, I sold that. Uh, the 3500 pickup, dually pickup that I bought this winter, the body on it was absolutely worthless. The pickup body for a dually is just, I don't know why they do it. Um, guys are scratching it up left and right, throwing stuff over it, banging the tailgate up. So I found a 4500 on, um, I don't know, a commercial truck trader or something out in Kentucky that had a flatbed on it and sold that dually to that dealer and ended up buying a 4500 Laramie from them with a flatbed so uh going into the season going into may of this season i had five trucks i had two two fifty five hundreds a thirty five hundred and two fifteen hundreds and made those changes and this is what we have now each truck has its own specialty 
its own use and they are all very, very handy. This is a 2023 4500 Laramie. This has 60 inch cab to axle. It's a crew cab. It's a little nicer since it's my daily driver. Um, Cummins, ice and transmission. Uh, came from Kentucky, so the tires have got to go. It's got hot shot tires on it, steer tires in the front. Um, those are gonna go <laughs> but uh, this will be getting a Fisher XLS eight and a half foot to 11 foot expanding plow and a polycast spreader like what we have in our little dump truck it's not super fancy it's fancy enough you know it's got leather it's got the big screen but uh, otherwise it's not super super fancy got this Bradford built bed which I have never seen locally before it's a i guess technically it's nine and a half feet i have yet to put anything in these toolboxes but i imagine straps and stuff like that will go in it i put the 38 gallon fuel tank from the 1500 long box in the back along with a hose reel and a pump it's got a sound off light bar on top that's all white and all amber for some reason on these they put a hitch that's only good for 18,500 so this will be going into the shop where we'll be cutting out this entire center section and welding on a plate like the other 5500s have where it can handle 15 tons so uh, let's see but overall I like the bed these little 2x4 steel 2x4s fold down so you can load stuff it's got a gooseneck hitch which I don't know if we'll ever use. I want to weld some D-rings into this bed so we can tie some stuff down. It's got brackets to put a board across so we'll probably do that at some point. I like it. It rides nice. I'll put a description or a link in the description below for the 3500 that it replaced that I racked up 5,000 miles on before I sold it. This one here is a 2022 5500 SLT crew cab that we got last September, I believe it was. I'll put a link in the description to the original walk around video. But this is the same deal 6 7 Cummins, Ace and Transmission. This one runs a 10 and a half foot wide Fisher XV2 V plow. Nothing fancy about this truck, it's got the chrome package. It's got the uh, just plain steel wheels. Um, it's got the crappy little five inch radio, cloth seats, vinyl floor. Nothing too, too special about the chassis itself. Um, I found this one in Maine when I bought it. So I pretty much am not picky on color as long as it's black or silver. So. This one's got a 60 inch cab to axle. This one has a reading, 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 classic two service body on it. Super duper handy to have everything you need with you at all times. I upgraded the tires on this to these Coopers, which were really good plowing. Uh, you know, we carry pretty much everything. It's got tools, every tool that you would need. Um, different supplies. All our chainsaws right there. Got air compressor, generator on board, 
Um, Bill thoughtfully rearranged the bumper one time. It's got a 15 ton panel underneath there. See how that plate is welded on just like that little dump truck it's behind this bumper. Welded right to the frame, gusseted, good for 30,000 pounds. This one carries 110 gallons of fuel. It's got that 50 foot hose reel. Um, just carry a lot of stuff. Carry my whole laser package in there. Uh, generator, cutoff saw, everything I'd ever need is in this truck. And it's very, very handy. We keep the plate compactor in the back, backpack blower, whatever we need to do a good job at these people's houses. This here is our 2022 5500 dump. Uh, this is the first truck I had ever custom ordered. It took five months to get. That would have been December of 2021. I ordered this thing. It's a tradesman. It's an 84 inch cab to axle. I'll put a link in the description to the original walk around video for it. <clears throat> this is loaded as a tradesman can get uh, this guy runs a, an 8.5 to 11 foot Fisher XLS expanding plow. It runs a 2.5 yard polycaster spreader. It is truck number one. It's got fancy steel wheels where I cannot for the life of me keep these stupid center caps on these trucks. They stick out so much. That's the second one that's been smashed. I don't even care anymore. You know, this truck here, that's a new cap because I ran it into the friggin' cutting edge of the um, bulldozer blade on the Volvo. Like, I can't win. But, uh, you know, it's pretty loaded for a tradesman. Cloth, seats, uh, vinyl floor. It's got the big 8.4 inch screen. I don't even remember all the options, but I just made sure it was a well, well equipped truck. The body on it came from Iroquois. It's a four to five yard body. It's 11 feet long. I've had nine footers in the past. They are not long enough. If you are in the market for a medium duty truck, 5,500, get the 84 inch cab to axle and get an 11 foot body. It is so much better. You go into the pit, the loader operators like you better. You're not spilling a bunch of crap off the back. And it's you can put so much brush in it. I only run two by eight sideboards on it because it's so big. I went with a power tarp. I don't want my guys climbing if they don't have to. Put toolboxes on it, put poly fenders on it. I did uh what else? Like I said, I did the sideboards, I put the backup camera on 15 ton pinnel. Uh we've had this truck for a little over a year now. It's got about 20,000 miles on it, and it is an absolute workhorse. I love it. It's just so handy. For a second, I thought, oh, I'll get rid of it, but no, it is just handy. It's kind of the primary tow vehicle if the tandem isn't being used. So it's just a very, very handy vehicle. I mean, the body has been well used. The paint is sticking. Um, I've had to touch up some dings on the back. This is from being sandblasted by material every once in a while. Just an all around fantastic truck. We just did the second service on it. So very, very good truck. And it's silver because I ordered it that way. The other two trucks, I found them and they were black. So I just dealt with it. But silver is my primary company color.
And last but not least on this tour is the 2024 International HX620 tandem that we just took delivery of about a month and a half ago. I'll throw that link in the description below as well for an in-depth talk. But uh, this is a 15 liter Cummins, 565 horse, 1850 torque. It's got an Allison 4700 automatic transmission, which is a seven speed and it has two reverse gears, one real low. This truck, I ordered it custom, about, uh, took about a year to get. Ordered it silver. Um, it's got disc brakes all the way around. It's got those big four foot toolboxes. The interior is pretty fancy. It's got heated and cooled driver's seat, Sirius satellite radio. Uh, I did a, I just said, put whatever we can in it. You know, if it's, <laughs> when you're spending 250 grand, what's spending a couple thousand more to make the driver comfortable all day. So just got everything we could in it. 20,000 pound front axle, 46,000 rears. So it's a 66,000 pound GVW vehicle. 17 foot body that we got from Iroquois. It has a barn door. That's quite handy. It's got these four foot toolboxes on both sides. I went with the poly fenders and aluminum wheels, obviously. But uh, this thing has, like I said, the barn door. It's got a 10 inch asphalt apron, which has been really nice for keeping the pinnel clean. It's got a 45 ton pinnel. It tows our 25 ton Eager Beaver tag trailer every once in a while. But yeah, I went really in depth with it on its walk around video. So check that one out if you want. But uh, yeah, man, that's, that's the deal. Still missing the front grill since they recalled them and shipped it without it. So it doesn't affect how it operates, but it's a little bit annoying. But anyway, that is the fleet of four trucks that we have. And that's what we're gonna run with. Each truck has its own use. So very handy. And I don't know, I feel like we're pretty well equipped. So thanks for watching.